Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Rays by Chili Beans. Uh, from the latest episode of um, One Piece, I believe it's used in the end of that. It's a cool little track, I'm going to teach you how to play the whole thing, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the thumbs up underneath, uh, press the notifications so you see when my new videos come out. Um, I love to hear from you as well, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the song, let me know what songs I should do next, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon account, I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning, you could play this on any type of guitar, electric guitar or acoustic guitar. Uh, so the first line the intro sounds like this, one, two. <laughs> So to play that, it starts off with a little, <laughs> little whistle, and that goes E5, B8, B6, B8, and then B6, so it goes up speed. Uh, then we get the chords, and it sounds like this. So to play that, the first chord we need in bar two is a D minor chord. First finger A5, second finger on B6, third finger D7, little finger on G7. So middle four strings is a D minor chord. And then the guitarist is going. So to play that, you play the A string and then do a sort of slow strum going down the D, G and the B strings. So not, try and slow it down a little bit. So you've got, then you're gonna go back up to the A string with an upstroke. So it goes. And then go up, down on the chord. But sort of only hit the B, G and D strings. So slowly, bar two goes. Up speed. And it's going to do that same technique on each of the chords. The next chord is an F chord. First finger A8, third finger across the D, G and the B strings at the 10th fret. And do the same right hand. Into bar four and we've got a B flat chord. First finger, I'm barring it, even though we don't need it at this point, but I'm barring my first finger on the sixth fret. Second finger on the G7. Third finger A8, little finger on D8. Same right hand that we did before, but upper string. So you play the E string, then A, D, and G strings, back to the A string, and then up, down. So we then go down to G minor. First finger barred across all the strings at the third fret. Third finger A5, and little finger underneath on D5. And you're going to go the E string, then A, D, and G strings, back to the E string. So we then jump up two frets to A minor and do the same idea. So you've got. So if we put the whole um, from bar two, three, four, and five together, we get this. And that repeats, so you play it twice through, and then that's the intro. That takes us to the verse. Now the first two, uh, sorry, first four bars of the verse are exactly the same as the intro. So the first four bars from six to uh, nine go. Into bar 10, we've got D minor again. 11, we've got bar F. And then in bar 12, it goes to a C chord, which is your first finger barred on the eighth fret, second finger on G9, third finger A10, little finger D10, and you've got same idea. It then goes back to D minor, 
in bar 13 and just play the A string and then the uh, D, G and the B strings. We then play the F chord, but we're gonna go. We're just gonna play each note at a time. So A8, D10, G10 and then B10. So bar 13 goes. So if we put the whole of the verse together, we get this. So that's the verse. We then get a bridge, which sounds like this. So for that, first chord is a B flat major seven. First finger on E5 nearest to the floor. Then you do a diagonal line up. So B6 with your second finger, G7 with the third finger, and the little finger on D8. And just strum down those. Two, three, four. We then go to a C chord where we're gonna play first finger across E and the B strings at the eighth fret. Second finger on G9, third finger D10. And we just play the bottom four strings. Into bar 16 and we've got an A minor chord, which is E12, B13, third finger on D14, little finger on G14. And then the last chord we need, bar 17, is a D minor, which is just E13, B15 and G14. Okay, so the bridge goes. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that repeats, so you play it twice. Um, and that takes us to the chorus, which is just going this. So it's playing the B flat chord. You just play the E string, then the rest of the chord, up two frets to C, and do the same thing. Go down to A minor, which is your first finger barred on the fifth fret, third finger A7, little finger on D7. E string, and then the rest of the strings. And then D minor, play the A5, and then the rest of the strings. So you get. Um, you could do a little double hit on the chord, like, or just play one of them. So, however you are, you want, and that basically keeps repeating until the last time round, where it does B flat, then C, then it goes to D minor, and then F, and then that's the end. So bars twenty and twenty-one, the last time round. So it keeps repeating around the chorus until the very last time it goes and that's the end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. As does, give me a thumbs up button, the like button on the video, hopefully help me get some more views. Uh, and the more comments, the better. If you just wanna say hi, say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know if you've seen the, the show. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.